In this presentation, we will be talking about the numerous uses of polymers in motorsports, more specifically in Formula One. It is somewhat surprising just how much of an F1 car is made faster, safer, and generally better by uses of different polymers. Now, starting with the most obvious use of polymers in a Formula One car, uh, it would be carbon fiber. Most of a Formula One car is made out of carbon fiber. Most of the body, as well as the wings and the diffuser, the vast majority of the car is made from carbon fiber. As a result of its superior properties, it is lighter than any comparable metal, it is stronger than any comparable metal, such as aluminium, titanium or steel, and as a result of its hexagonal structure, a unique hexagonal structure which is layered on top of each other, that makes it incredibly stiff, which is very useful for the high g-forces that race cars will experience, so that the car will not be bending and wobbling as it experiences such high forces while being as light and as strong as possible. Very useful. Carbon fibre is essentially one of the best materials in most circumstances. The only problem is it's painfully expensive, but you know, that's why there are only 20 Formula One cars or so. The next way that polymers are crucial to uh, Formula One cars and motorsport in general is also quite obvious, it's the tyres. Now the most interesting thing about the polymer chemistry of tyres is, in my opinion, the process called vulcanization, where essentially uh, addition of sulphur will create cross linkages between your polymer chains and that changes the properties quite a lot it gives the rubber a much harder um more resistant much harder more resistant properties which is you know pretty ideal when you're zooming around very quickly you don't want the tires breaking it's not ideal could cause some problems potentially um a mixture of polymers are used in Formula One tyres, but mainly polybutadiene, this molecule down there, um, as well as a few other things. Um, one interesting thing that is added is the tyres are reinforced with Kevlar and carbon fibre, which goes back to the point, both of which are polymers, which goes back to the point carbon fiber is pretty much pretty much the greatest material ever you know you can just add it to things it will make them do a better job now i may have just said that carbon fiber is the possibly the greatest greatest polymer of all time that was a lie this is even better. This is xylon. As you can see, it also has some hexagonal structure. This is this is good for polymers. It makes them strong. But unlike carbon fiber, it's not stacked in layers on top of each other, but it has permanent dipoles because of the nitrogen and oxygen in the monomer. This makes it even stronger. This is the strongest polymer that has ever been made. It's the strongest man-made material in the world. 1.5 times stronger than Kevlar, about 10 times stronger than steel. It's heat resistant. It's literally perfect, okay? 
So this is used where, you know, safety is rather critical. So as you can see, there is a strap of Xylon that is often put on helmets to protect the visors from flying debris, which is, you know, somewhat hazardous at very high velocities, shockingly. Um, but it's also used in panels to protect the in the cockpit interior where the uh, Formula One drivers are sitting. And they're also used to connect the wheels to the chassis because presumably when you're driving around rather quickly for a long time, it could be problematic if your wheels fall off, which has happened before, to be fair. So you want those pieces to be as strong as possible. And that's why you would use Xylon because as, as I said, it is, it's the strongest material that we've ever made. It's, it's pretty lit, it's pretty good. Finally, another way that polymers are used in F1 is in making the racing suits. These are made out of a type of polymer known as aramids, which is short for aromatic polyamides. Here I've given two examples, the one that the racing suits are made of, known as Nomex, and the one that military grade bulletproof vests are made out of, which is Kevlar. And as you can see, the interesting thing here is the only difference between these two materials is the orientation of the benzene ring and where where it's attached to the rest of the the rest of the carbons and nitrogens in the monomer and i thought it was interesting that such a small difference essentially makes the difference between a heat proof racing suit versus also a heat proof but literally a bulletproof vest um, and the reason that they don't use Kevlar to make racing suits is it gets actually very hot in F1 cars and Kevlar is not very good at um, moisture absorbance. So the slight difference gives makes essentially our, the Nomex that is used in uh, racing suits much more comfortable to wear while also, you know, protecting them from crashes and fires, most importantly, which is, which is useful if your car catches fire, like what happened to uh, Roman Grosjean last year, but, you know. Anyway, thank you.